Hey everybody, KC here. So as I sit here recording this, it's about 92, 93, 94 degrees, but it feels like it's in the high 90s, right? It is hot. Now I'm not complaining because I know I can go in that door over there and it's air conditioned. But the thing is, something like 100 million people in America right now are feeling the effects of excessive heat. Uh, all or part of 28 states are feeling the effects of excessive heat. It is hot. Now, uh, scientists basically say they can't say that this particular heat wave, as, as it's being felt all over America, it, you know, can be attributed to climate change. Although they do say this is exactly what they expect the effects of climate change to be. And we certainly know that's happening in the UK. You know, the UK is a place where they're basically built to warm people up during the winter. They're not, you know, they're not prepared to cool people off during the summer. Something like 5% of the entire UK has air conditioning and they're dealing with excessive heat. It's really, really bad. Hey, listen, out on Jones Beach on Long Island, uh, climate change is creating a situation where there are more sharks than ever before. They've had to close the beaches. Now, I know this sounds like I'm gonna make a movie reference, but the fact is, because of climate change, the, war the waters are getting warmer, sharks are coming closer to land, it's creating issues. Now, this is something we all have to pay attention to. There are three cities that I know of right now that actually have chief heat officers. We've talked about two of them in the past uh, on Morning Newsbeat, Miami and Phoenix. Los Angeles now has a chief heat, heat officer that's basically trying to figure out what the city has to do to deal with the, the impact of excessive heat on the infrastructure, on people, on all sorts of things. And I guess one of the questions I would have is, you know, in your company, do you have a chief, a chief heat officer? Do you have somebody who's there figuring out what the company needs to do in terms of dealing with climate change? Um, lots of things can happen, like roads could buckle and, and it would be difficult for, for trucks to get to your offices. The electrical grid could break down. We know that's happening in certain parts of the country. Are you prepared to deal with that? Um, more staffers could get sick because of the impact of heat. Listen, the food industry re depends on air conditioning. I remember years ago, somebody telling me that basically a supermarket is a big refrigerator, big freezer. It's all, it depends on how you moderate it. What are you gonna do if your electrical grid grows down? What, what are you gonna do if you're, it's impossible to get your stores and your warehouses to the temperature that you need it to be at in order to take care of your food? Are you prepared or are you in denial? I mean, it seems to me we've reached a point in, in human history and in business history where these are the kinds of things companies have to think about. Retailers have to be prepared to deal with and that you need to have somebody in your company who is focused on these issues and focused with coming up with solutions to deal with the situations as they develop. Now, listen. I know not everybody's gonna agree with me on this one. I get emails all the time. I got an email just yesterday from somebody who said, oh, I was, I was talking about something having to do with climate change. And it was had to do with gas stations. And, and somebody wrote in to say, oh, bitching and moaning, bitching and moaning. All you people ever do is complain. I don't know who you people are. Well, I actually do know who you people are. But you know, they were saying, all you people do is bitch and complain, bitch and complain, bitch and moan, bitch and moan. And then somebody else wrote in to me and said, uh, you know, you've really drunk the Kool-Aid on this stuff. Well, first of all, I don't think I'm bitching and moaning when you're actually I'm observing what's going on around me. I'm reading what scientists have to say, and I'm suggesting that we all have to figure out how to deal with this. And as to for drinking the Kool-Aid, well, somebody's drinking the Kool-Aid, but I don't think it's me. But again, you probably don't think it's you either. I'd say we can just agree to disagree Except one of us is acknowledging a problem that could have an impact not on just on business, but on the planet, or at least on humanity, and one of us isn't. So you can tell me I'm bitching and moaning. You can tell me that I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, there goes the train. Nothing like mass transit, maybe. That's what's on my mind this morning, and as always... I want to hear what's on your mind.